Praise God. I uh, feel like just closing in prayer. It's an awesome service. God is good. All the time. You guys can do better than that. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. God is good. Do you believe that God is a good God? Yes. Praise the Lord. I want to be obedient uh, right from the start here. And uh, Verna, your testimony is powerful. And you probably know the scripture, Jeremiah 29, 11. Yes. And all the thoughts that I have for you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you, Verna, a hope and a future. Yes. And hope is an expect expectation of good things. Verna, mm -hmm. I want you to write that down, cut it out, put it on the fridge. You know, God, from this day forward, God has good, a good, good plan for you. Yes, he does. It's not to harm you, to give you hope and a future. So we just want to we want to focus on the goodness of God tonight. We want to focus on our Father. Oh, he's so good. You know, Jesus surrendered everything. Jesus Christ surrendered everything. He gave everything. So that you could come into the kingdom. Of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. God gave his one and only Son for you. And for many more. And Verna's testimony, I pray that God will continue to use that testimony. That God will continue to strengthen her by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. So that others, Verna, that are in that same situation, that don't know God as a good father, yes. that he will use you to reveal himself to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Everything that you talked about tonight, it's kind of it's intertwined in the message. I'm going to shorten it down some. I'm going to try to shorten it down. I just want to talk about our Father. It's Father's yes. Day. Yes. And uh, it's bittersweet. Mm -hmm. yes. For some people, it's bittersweet. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Not everybody's a good father. Mm -hmm. Not everybody knows God is a good father. And in that video, it talked about God being misrepresented yes. for those that don't know him. Yeah. And the Bible says, this is eternal life, that they may know the one true God, in John 17, 3, and his son, Jesus Christ. Yeah. That they will know the one true God and his son, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So not everybody here, probably tonight, knows God is a good father. And they have a hard time believing in God that people have told them about. And it's not true. So we want to reveal God to people as a good father. Yes. Amen? Yes. Now, if I was to ask you all tonight why Jesus came, there would be many, many things that you would tell me why he came. Amen? Amen. I want to talk about the name of God. The scriptures are a story about God's love and God creating a family. This was not man's idea. This was God's idea. He created us to be a family. Thank you, Lord. Amen? Yes, thank you. A family to love Him, to love one another, mm -hmm. to honor Him, yes. and to reign in Him forever. Reign with Him forever. Mm -hmm. We're going to reign with Him forever. Yes. You know, and sometimes we don't see eternity. We have, we have a temporal mindset. You know, God's love is eternal. God is love. His love is eternal. This is love. Not that we love God, but He loved us. Yes. Gave His one and only Son as atonement for our sin. Sin. I heard, I heard a great preacher, I'm not even going to say the name, I read it this week, that when we sin, that it stops fellowship with God. Right. We're still sons, mm -hmm. but it, it stops our fellowship. Right. Well, I'm going to tell you tonight. 1 John 2, 1. We have an ad if we sin, we have an advocate yes. with the Father. Yes. Yes. Jesus Christ the righteous. We can boldly go to the throne room yes. of grace. Yes. Amen? Yes. To a great mercy and grace in our time of need. Sin does not stop fellowship with the Father. 
in our mind, we may think it does, but it doesn't. You have been forgiven once and for all. Yeah. You are forgiven. Mm -hmm. You can boldly go to the throne room of grace to, to obtain grace and mercy. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen? If we sin, we have an advocate with the Father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise God. The sin does not stop fellowship with the Father. You're a son or you're not a son? Yeah. Amen? Amen? Are you a son? Yes. Ephesians 1, 4, and 5. You were chosen before the foundations of the earth. You were chosen in Him. You are predestined to be adopted as sons. To be adopted as sons in Christ Jesus according to His good pleasure. For His glorious grace. For the praise of His glorious grace. You've been adopted as sons. In ancient time, a birthright child you could actually kick out of the family. You could disown. But an adopted child, you could not disown an adopted child. Isn't that something? You've been adopted into the family of God. You're predestined. You're chosen for his good pleasure. To give him glory. To honor him. Oh, what a savior. Isn't he wonderful? Yes. Sing hallelujah. Christ is risen. Bow down before him. For he is Lord of all. Sing hallelujah. Christ is risen. For our Father's arms are wide open. Praise God. Our Father's arms are always wide open. I want to talk about God the Father. Oh God the Father. In Genesis, there's two beginnings in Genesis. Genesis 1. Talks about in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and void, and darkness covered the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God hovered over the waters. And God said, God spoke, let there be light. And God said, and God said, and God's name. What's God's name? Elohim. God, creator. Creator God. So he revealed himself as creator. And then he made man. And sometimes we, make, we want to make God into our image. And it says, let's make man into our image. God. Let's make man in our image. So we made an image of man, of God. And God made a covenant with man. And the name that he revealed is Yahweh. Covenant keeping God. God the Creator, Yahweh, covenant keeping God, the names of God. And then he revealed himself to Abraham when Abraham was 99, and he told him they would have a son. Mm -hmm. And Sarah was barren. El Shaddai, mm -hmm. Almighty God. He revealed himself as Almighty God, El Shaddai, Almighty God. All through the word, he keeps revealing himself to man. <coughs> and then, in John 1. What's it say in John 1? In the beginning was the word. And the word was, the with, word was God. with God. The word was God. The word was God. He was with God in the beginning. So Jesus always was. He was always with mm -hmm. God. And then Jesus comes on the scene. And Jesus... He came to die for the sin of mankind. He came to destroy the works of the enemy. He came to be a living sacrifice. But one thing I think that the church misses out on is that he came to reveal the Father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He came to reveal the Father's heart towards mankind. Amen? Let's go to John 14. Put some water in the dry, yeah. Oh. Oh, 
Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So how do we get to the Father? Through Jesus. Through Jesus Christ. He's the only way. Doesn't matter how good you think you are. Doesn't matter what you do. The only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ. Repentance. It's the goodness of God, Romans 2, 4, that leads to repentance. It's the goodness of God that leads to repentance. What's repentance? Metanoia. Change your mind. Change your heart. Let's change your actions. I never repented, but in my heart I repented when I received Jesus Christ. Because I, he revealed the goodness of the Father to me. Even right now, tonight, some, some of you are going to repent. <laughs> some of you are going to repent here tonight. You're going to change your mind. Mm. You're going to change the way that you see God. Mm. It, it's happening and you don't even know it. And you're going to change your heart and how you see the Father. Mm. When you see the goodness of God, when you see the goodness of the Father, mm. we repent and we don't even know it. We met at Metanoia, we change our minds, we change our hearts. Amen? Amen. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. <laughs> Come on, Jesus, bring the Father around the corner. Show him to us. That's sufficient. It's like people today, if I could only see God. That's sufficient. Bring him around. Let us see him. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? <coughs> he who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, Show us the Father? Philip, how can you say, Show us the Father? If you've seen Jesus, you've seen the Father. If you've read about Jesus, you've seen, you know what Jesus has done. Most of you here know Jesus. You know what he's done. He's seen he's going about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Amen? So, so we know the Father. We've seen the Father. Do you not believe that I am in the Father? And the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. But the Father who dwells in me does the works. I can't do anything. You can't do anything. It's the Father. But the person of the Holy Spirit dwelling in you that does the miracles. That goes about doing good. That goes about healing all who are oppressed. That gives you the courage to share your testimony when you don't have the courage. It gives you the courage to go to your neighbor's house that has no food. Amen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It gives you the courage to talk to people when you don't know what to say and he gives you the words to say. Yes. It's the Father in me. Yes. It's the Holy Spirit in me yes. doing the works. Yes. Yes. We want to get rid of fear tonight. We want to get rid of worry tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we cast all fear out in the name of mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes. And we command all worry to go tonight in the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen? Yes. Do not worry. Do not fear. Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak in my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me. Or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will also do, and greater works. Than these he will do, because I go to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Yes. What an awesome promise. Yes. Whatever you ask in my name, he will do it, mm -hmm. that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Yes. Maybe we're not asking, maybe we're not believing. That it's the Father, it's the Holy Spirit in us that does the works. He's the power. He's the comforter. He's the one that leads us and guides us. He's the one that, that 
that allows us to go down paths that are scary. <laughs> like in Jamaica when our tire went flat, we had to go down this dirt road. These guys with big hunting knives. <laughs> like, it's scary. But not really. Because when you know the Father's with you, when you know that he'll never leave you, he'll never forsake you. He says he'll go to the ends of the earth with you. The ends of the earth. And then he won't leave you. John rocks in. He'll go, he'll go with you to the ends of the earth. What an awesome plan he has for this team. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's right. Yes. Yeah. An awesome plan. Yes. So we want to get rid of all fear. Mm. All worry. Mm. That God will provide. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Let's go to John 17. This long prayer of Jesus before he was crucified, he was praying for his disciples. Let's go to 17, 24. I'm not going to go through the whole prayer of time. Father, Father, I desire that they also whom you gave me may be with me where I am. That may, they may behold my glory which you have given me. For you loved me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you. And these have known that you sent me. And I have declared to them your name. And that's missing in the NIV, I believe. And that's a mistake. Because in the Greek, it's a noma. It's there. I have declared to them your name. It's very important. And we'll declare it that the love which you love me may be in them and I in them. Yes. Yes. That the same love that the Father loved Jesus may be in his disciples. Yes. That same love. And he, what did he declare to them? Your name. Yes. Yes. He declared his name. His splendor. His brightness, his magnific magnificence, yeah. his excellence, his grace, yeah. his goodness, all that he has and all that he does. It's his character. I've declared your name. It's the character of God. Amen? Yeah, his splendor. I mean, you just think about that. His brightness, his magnificence, his excellence, his grace, his majesty, and his goodness. Elohim, God the Creator. Yahweh, come and keep me, God. El Shaddai, Almighty God. Our Father, who art in heaven. Yes. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth. As it is in heaven. And forgive us our debts. As you've forgiven our debtors. Praise God. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from you. Deliver us from sickness. Mm -hmm. Deliver us from disease. Deliver us from fear. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from worry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us cast out every thought that's contrary to what God thinks of us. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the thoughts that he has towards us. Every thought. Let's reject it tonight. It's not a God. Bad thoughts will come, but we have to cast them down yeah. and make them obedient to the Word of God. Amen. Amen. It just means to reject them. Yeah. This is why many people 
don't find themselves in the will of God. <laughs> the most important thing, I don't have my dad. This was the first, I'm gonna be honest. This is the first day in 52 years. I didn't visit my dad as he passed away. A couple of months ago. And today, I want to be honest. I didn't feel great. But you know, he lives on my and me. Amen. And you know that the best times mm -hmm. I spent there was when we were alone. Mm -hmm. When we spent time alone. Yep. Mm -hmm. One on one. Mm -hmm. And he would share things with you. And he was strong. Mm -hmm. He would give you wisdom. And can help you solve your problems. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. Amen. Isn't that what dads are for? Yes. Not to Hermes. He worked hard. Mm -hmm. He protected us. And this is this is what God wants to do yes. for us. So I still have an awesome father. That's <laughs> yes. true. Yes. Yes. In Psalm 91.4. I want some, can somebody open it and read it? He will cover you with his feathers. <laughs> Under his wings you will find refuge. His grace will be your shield and buckler. He will cover you with his feathers. And under his wings you will find refuge. His faith, faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. Thank you, Mike. That's the Psalm of David is talking about protection. Yes. And Dad's role is to protect his children, not to harm them. David knew God as someone who protected him. This is talking about abiding. I remember me and Grace canoeing down at Stewiak River and we seen this little duck, this mother duck and the little chicks. And we went around the corner and the duck was scared. Up the hill it went. But the little chicks went right after. But the duck can hide her chicks not under her wings, under her feathers. So it's, it's, it's an awesome revelation here, David, in Psalm 914. We have a much more amazing revelation of God. Yes. That He's in us. That He's in you. Mm -hmm. That He's your Father. Mm -hmm. And that He's your protection. He's your shield. He's your strong tower. Yes. Praise God. Yes. And the prodigal son, everyone knows the story of the prodigal son. About how the son wasted his his share of his inheritance. And he came back and he said he would serve in his father's house. But he didn't know his identity because he was still a son. But I think a lot of times what people miss is how the other son seen his dad. And the oldest son, it's in Luke 15, 25, the oldest son perceived his father as a hard and stingy man. And he was really peeved off that the dad would have a celebration. There was dancing and singing. And they killed the fat cat. We need to change our perception of our father. God wants us to real, reveal the father to people that don't know him. Because it's the goodness of God that leads to repentance. It's the goodness of our Father that leads to repentance. 
And I think the most important thing for believers, like the times that I spent with my dad alone, when he could pour into me, Matthew 6, 6, when you pray, go into your room, shut the door, and pray in secret to your Father. And what you do in secret, He will reward you openly. And that is, that is the Lord's Prayer. <laughs> For believers, a lot of times I think we can declare things, we can speak things, but if there's no intimacy, yeah. if there's no relationship, yeah. it's those quiet times when God is going to pour into you. And your Father is going to reveal things to you. He's going to reveal His will to you. He will reveal His purpose for you. And He will, he will give you visions. They'll tell you who to pick up the phone and go call. It's these times in secret that are the most important for the believer. Times alone with the Father. Like my earthly dad. When he could just pour into me. And then when you and when you go out, you're prepared. Yes. You don't have to get prepared, you're prepared. Yeah. Yes. Maybe sometimes we're not prepared enough. And I'm including myself in that. Maybe sometimes we're just too busy. We're not taking time to be with the Father. Even though He's always with us, in our minds, or often in other things. <coughs> There's nothing more as a dad that I love than spending time with my, my children. I know the dad's here tonight. There's nothing more special than spending time with your children. Yes. Amen. And I believe it's the same thing for God, yeah. our Father. Mm -hmm. There's nothing more special than when we go into our room and shut the door. And spend time with Him. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yes, amen. Nothing. Amen. All the Speaking in front of people, going across the, the nations, all the ministry, there's nothing that God loves more than for you to be one on one with Him so He can pour into you, so He can tell you how much He loves you. Not human love, Gabby love. So He can reveal His plans to your heart. So he can change your heart. <clears throat> and when you look in the mirror, you'll see yourself predestined as a son. Your true identity. As a son of the Most High God. Sometimes people want change, but we do the same things day in, day out, and we expect different results. I see this at work all the time, the people that don't know God. They do the same thing day in, day out, but they expect different results. So maybe we have to change the way we do things, and then we'll get different results. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. Amen? Wisdom does not come with age. It doesn't matter if you're a year old in the Lord or 40 or 50 years old in the Lord. Wisdom comes when you spend time with the Father. Amen. You meditate on His Word. What He says about you. When you spend time in God's presence, When you 
know that you know that you've received his abundance of grace mm -hmm. and his gift of righteousness and that you'll rule and reign on the earth yes. through the one man, Jesus Christ. We are destined to rule and reign on the earth through the one man, Jesus Christ, when you receive his abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. Right standing because of what Jesus did on the cross. Right standing because we were buried with him. And we rose with him. And we're seated in heavenly places with him. Far above principalities and powers. Amen? Yes. So we're destined to rule and reign on the earth. That doesn't mean you won't have trouble. But this is, these are times, I believe, that the Father's heart is really revealed. When my dad was passing, seven days, and my dad... My dad went home. But during those times, we've seen God work. Just in everyday life. Leaving the hospital. Pushing somebody in a wheelchair. My brother stopped to pick somebody up that needed help. He said, I'm not stopping. And then God said, you got to go back. So he turned around and went back and stopped for that man. In that hardship, in that trouble, you can reveal the Father's heart more as you spend time, quiet time with him, and just abide in him, in his presence. Success is yours. True prosperity is yours. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, mercy, gentleness, true prosperity is yours. Increase is yours in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy that over you tonight. Success is yours. Prosperity is yours. Increase is yours. In the mighty name of Jesus. Not just for you, but for those that don't know the Father. For those that don't know the Father's heart. How could anyone come up with a plan like that? To send his one and only son. How could anybody have a plan like that before the foundations of the world so that you would come into his arms? The best times you're ever going to have are going to be one-on-one -on -one with your father. Those will be the best times. God's just going to pour into you. Wherever you go, your workplace, whatever your ministry is, in those times, it's going to be amazing. There's an awesome awesome presence of God here today. Mm -hmm. His love, His mercy, His grace, mm -hmm. His unmerited favor. Mm -hmm. Grace is what God does for us. Mm -hmm. Faith receives what God has already done. I'll say that again. Faith receives what God has already <laughs> done by grace. And I hope tonight, and this week, and the weeks to come, that God the Father will reveal His heart to you more and more. And that He will declare His name to you, His character. No matter what you go through in life, that you'll know that God's a good God. He's a good Father. Amen. 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 This week, in my quiet time, I, I work shift work, back shift, Wednesday and Thursday night. So I've been on some shifts here lately. But Wednesday, I didn't eat all day. Some Sundays I just go without eating. I don't, I don't, 
I just do it to do it. But I fell asleep in the middle of the afternoon. And I had a dream. And there, there was somebody that come and come to me. And he said, Wesley, how can I trust God as Father? How can I trust God as my Father? And then I woke up. But what I want to say tonight, and I don't know if that person's here today, but I want to pray with that person if you're here tonight. There's someone here tonight that cannot trust God as their Heavenly Father. I want to pray with you. And if not, maybe it's someone else. But if you're here tonight, don't be shy. God wants to set you free. Amen. Yes. He wants you to trust Him. Yes. He wants, to, wants you to acknowledge Him as Lord of your life. Yeah. As Father. As Protector. Yeah. As Deliverer. Yeah. As Healer. He wants to give you peace. Yeah. So if you're here tonight, come up and I'll pray with you. Mm -hmm. you. If not, Maybe it's somebody else. God is awesome. He's worthy. Worthy to be praised. I was going to get Cece to sing a song. Cece, you got a song in you? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'll share a testimony. CC was uh, praying for a job, and you guys have been praying for, so it was about a year. And uh, she signed a contract, actually, about a month ago, for a job in research and development. A good job. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. 15-month contract. <laughs> so... And Cece's like a daughter. I, I always tell her she's like a daughter. Well, she says, what do you mean like a daughter? Because <laughs> God brought her all the way from China. Yeah, and placed her in her lives. That wasn't our decision. It was his decision. Amen? Amen. And there's nothing better, you know, now I have two daughters. Awesome. You're blessed. And blessed. it's amazing mm -hmm. the things that when you watch your kids mm -hmm. and you encourage them and you watch them grow up mm -hmm. and you're so proud. Mm -hmm. And they give their lives to the Father. Yes. And he uses them. Mm -hmm. There's nothing better than watching kids. And there's nothing better for our Father than watching. You here tonight? Mm -hmm. Come out tonight? Family? Mm -hmm. And just honor them and worship them and praise them. Spend time with them. There's nothing better. Mm -hmm. God loves watching his kids mm -hmm. succeed and be successful mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So that, that's it tonight. Praise God.